Hi everybody, welcome to the Vitality at Home Healthy Cooking Channel. I am Sarah Graham, I am a food writer and a cookbook author and I have a TV show called Sarah Graham's Food Safari. And I am really excited to share an easy, fuss-free, plant power-packed dinner with you. Um, and thanks to my friends at Vitality and the Healthy Food Studio for bringing me in to join in all of the fun that we've been having in the kitchen. Um, and that is something that I've loved about lockdown is how much more inspired we've been in the kitchen. We've been cooking so much more because we can't eat out and we can't buy takeaways. And I think it's been something special for, for people to do together and families to do together. And I am so excited to be part of all of it. And I wanna share with you a very quick and easy fast free weeknight veggie curry that we have a lot in our house that's full of goodness and full of flavor. So I've just got these onions over a medium heat and they're softening nicely. So I will add in the garlic, about half a teaspoon of crushed garlic and the curry leaves. These are just dried curry leaves but they really add an extra special something. I have got a little bit of ginger that I am just going to grate in. I don't even bother to peel it, I'll just leave the skin on. About a teaspoon of grated ginger. Okay, I've also got a couple of cardamom pods that I've just roughly broken apart so that all those little seeds come out. And then I want about two teaspoons of curry powder. This is a fairly mild one bit of cinnamon and about half a teaspoon of turmeric okay I absolutely love curry it's one of my favorite foods and so the smells going on in my kitchen right now make me very very happy I'm gonna add another tiny little splash of olive oil. Okay, and then once the onions have cooked down and have really softened nicely and all those spices have had a chance to come alive in the pan, then we add in about a cup of low fat coconut milk and a little extra stock or water. And the onions have softened nicely, so I'm adding in my coconut milk and will bubble a lot. And then in with my pumpkin, you can also use butternut and if you like you can also use aubergine but just fry it for a couple of minutes along with the onion before you add in the coconut milk. So many bright colours going on in the pan which also just make you happy, so comforting. Okay, so what I want to do now is leave the pumpkin to soften for about 10 or 15 minutes and then everything else comes together really, really quickly at the end. We throw in the tin of drained chickpeas, roughly torn baby spinach, or you can use a handful of peas from your freezer. I love peas, I use them in so many different things, including pesto to bulk it up and throw into pasta. Um, and then our ground almonds will go in just to thicken the sauce and we'll have a big bowl of fluffy brown basmati rice in our curry, and I can't wait to show you. Okay, my pumpkin is nice and tender, and it's cooked all the way through. So now I just quickly throw in the rest of the ingredients. I've got a can of drained chickpeas, you can also use lentils, and you can use lentils and chickpeas together and make a kind of creamy, comforting dal, which I also love to do. And then in I go with my baby spinach and I'm just going to tear it roughly and add it into the pan. And at this stage, I usually turn off the heat. I really don't want to overcook the spinach. I want it to retain that bright greenness and also it's just got far more nutrients in it. And then over here, I've got my basmati rice, which is nice and fluffy. And I always just follow the Two cups of water, one cup of rice, start off with cold water, bring it to a boil, simmer, and you should end up with perfectly fluffy rice every time. Okay, so there we go. 
Beautiful. Coconutty, spicy, soothing, comforting curry that I think you're gonna love and I hope you will make really, really soon. And don't forget to check out all the other videos and recipes and tips and tricks over at the Vitality at Home cooking channel. And also follow along my social media, Sarah Graham Food, to see what I'm getting up to in the kitchen and for other recipes and ideas and just to see what I'm getting up to.